Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hi there! My name's Timmy Joe. Making videos about computers on the internet. And hell, I consider myself an expert in computers to some degree. I mean, I do have a big, giant YouTube channel. But, uh, oh my god, am I ever a noob sometimes. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about my hatred for Thunderbolt and all this. So, uh, I, I got a notification from one of my guys uh, that sends me stuff, actually a Patriot, that they had this new NVMe Thunderbolt drive that, with a terabyte. And I just said, hey, I'll review that. And then, without any other interaction, it just kind of showed up at my doorstep. Uh, well, actually, it showed up at my old doorstep, and then I had to go and find it. But, but uh, then I was thinking, like, the whole time, Thunderbolt, it's an Intel standard, and on an Intel motherboard, you know, if it has a USB-C connection, shouldn't it just plug in and work? No, it does not work like that. In fact, most motherboards do not have Thunderbolt support at all. You have to buy a special card for that. And then if you want to go and look at laptops that actually have the standard, only the highest end of highest end MacBooks and Razors and you know Dells and Lenovo's Ultrabooks with uh, you know really high-end expensive two thousand plus dollar specs have Thunderbolt at all. So what a useless standard it is! Like it's a super cool standard. Basically gives a full PCIe lane through this thing, right? Or whatever. Like uh, it's like plugging in uh, you know a PCIe card with this many connections right here with this USB-C. Shouldn't that be everywhere? Shouldn't Intel license this cheaply so that they can become, you know, make a lot of money licensing it out, over, you know, in volume rather than, uh, you know, keep it to the high end of high ends and they make not as much money because they're not selling as much of it? That makes sense to me. So I want to review this drive, a super cool a terabyte NVMe drive in this thing. You just plug it in USB-C super fast, like whatever, 500 uh, gigabyte a second transfer speeds, super crazy fast. Probably even faster than that. So I get this thing on Amazon, and these cards are very hard to find. This is actually like a hundred and fifty dollar USD card to buy new, and I was like, "Holy jeez, are these cards are expensive?" And I only see this one and an Asus one on Amazon, and I started looking around, and I actually found this open box one. Somebody returned it, probably because they couldn't get it working, uh, and I got it for sixty bucks Canadian. So I'm like, "Okay, I'll buy that." Pretty cool little card, comes with uh, DisplayPort pass-through, HDMI pass-through, and two USB 3 that you can just plug it, the board in, right? You'd think it would be that easy. So I start by just plugging it in without this cable, thinking maybe this has something to do with adding Thunderbolt support to the USB 3 that's already on the back of the, the motherboard or something. And it's not working. So I find the little connector on my motherboard uh, that you know supports this thing and I plug it in over here and it's I actually went to the instructions because I wasn't seeing this thing pop up in Windows at all and I downloaded some software I went as far as to get my CD-ROM out okay I have a USB CD-ROM that's the only CD-ROM I have kicked around and loaded the drivers that came with the you know CD with this thing thinking that I wasn't grabbing the right software or something it was really confusing too because there's a revision one and two of this really hard to figure out which one you have. Um, I had to rip that sticker off because initially you can't see that I have revision two of this card. I think the original revision uh, actually comes with different connectors too. It's got uh, DDI to DisplayPort rather than, uh, I could be wrong, but mine came with dis, uh, DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort. So this is for pass-through, came with two of them. So uh, I plug this card in, I use it in every single slot on this motherboard it does not register in windows when i install the software it looks like it works but it never works nothing ever happens i don't see anything new in device manager i'm like racking my brain and i know that there's a bios option you were going to say that weren't you so let's plug this in in the last slot which actually it has to be the last slot and you plug this little guy into your motherboard in the thb c connector Boop. There we go. Now we can turn on the system. Sorry I'm all aggravated, but it, I swear to God, I've been, I spent a day on this. And it's just a card you should plug into your computer and install some drivers and away you go. So when I went into the BIOS, I go to peripherals, and there's a Thunderbolt configuration option. And I click that. And 
Thunderbolt discrete support was enabled by default. So I went in here and I thought, okay, it's already on. What am I doing wrong? And I looked at some other videos. There's only a handful of videos of these little cards being installed. Uh, there was a guy with an Asus one, and he actually went in his BIOS and the Thunderbolt support had like a bunch more options, and you could actually pick which PCIe slot you plugged the card into right in the BIOS, which would be interesting. I, no, I have no options like that. So I tried every configuration from the first to the third PCIe slot, took discrete graphics card out. I made sure I actually turned SATA or uh, NVMe off because I was thinking maybe NVMe uh, uh, shares the, uh, the PCIe lanes and you have to turn it off in, in order for it to work. And I, I've been almost ready to email my gigabyte rep and ask him what's up and maybe even just return this. I thought if it was returned, maybe there was, it was faulty. But no, I found a forum post, a gigabyte forum post, where it says, uh, I found a fix for this. He has the exact same problem as me. That's what it kept me going was I, there's a lot of people on Amazon saying that it was really hard to get this working with their setup and older setups too. So I'm thinking like, how come this hasn't been streamlined by C390? It's ridiculous. But he says, uh, there's under the uh, Thunderbolt 3 in the BIOS, there's an option for force power to GPIO or something to that effect, which doesn't even look like it's on here at all, right? Like, I don't, oh wait, there's a discrete Thunderbolt configuration submenu. I go in there, GPIO force power enable, that was set to disable. As soon as I enabled that, which is like a hidden BIOS function, right? It's like in two, under two trees of information. And it doesn't say anything like, you would never think to click this option. Yeah, I had to find a forum post. And I, I just did everything to get this going and it was just not working for me. So I, uh, we, we won't save, don't need to save. Um, we'll load into Windows and I'll show you that it's now working. Once I enabled the GPIO power, whatever, blah, 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 uh, it, when I went into Windows, it started saying, hey, you, I found new hardware. And I was able to go on Gigabyte's website, download the revision two version of the Thunderbolt software and driver, and then install it. And finally, I could access this drive from Windows. So if you want to plug this in over here, boop, there we go. Light comes on. And, and then we go in here and we EVLVR, finally is installed on this thing. Oh my God, finally. So I have access to that drive, finally, man. So why is Thunderbolt so damn hard? You make it hard to buy an add-in card for it. It's a super cool thing. You could connect like a whole bunch of external hard drives in daisy chain format and like run them, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that benefit from that and actually use Thunderbolt that way with Mac, you know, because there's like only a couple of USB C's on a MacBook. So you end up, if you want to add storage to it, you know, you plug it in when you get to your desk and it's, it's like Firewire basically. Firewire never took off because it was a lockdown standard and it was kind of hard to figure out. This is the same thing. You know what's going to happen? USB or, or AMD will come up with a standard, something like Thunderbolt. And someone will just start using that because it's way cheaper and eventually USB 3.5 or something like that will just have the speed of Thunderbolt. I, I don't know if it works like that. I'm no, you know, whatever. But uh, so how fast is this thing? Well, um, let's see what, how much is in this? I got 817 megabytes in this folder. And if I copy it over, wow, 465 Megabytes a second or gigabytes? Gigabytes a second. Oh, it's megabytes a second. I'm done. So this is bottlenecked by the speed that, you know, outputted from my uh, mechanical hard drive. And it's going 100 or 200 megabytes a second. Uh, but if, I don't know. It, it's a, we'll, we'll get into a review of this thing and how fast it is uh, in another video, a quick tech video. But I just wanted to express my uh, utter disgust at how hard it is to get Thunderbolt working. I bet you never even thought it. I, I'm so dumb. I thought it literally was just a feature on the back of every Intel chipset motherboard. Or, or, or maybe at least the Z390 high-end one. Not so. You need a special card. It's a very expensive card. Then you need to jump through hoops to even get it installed. Like, it's just a big mess. So, I'm at Watch TV Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I uh, look forward to a blazing fast SSD review now that I've got Thunderbolt 3 portable SSD working. Uh, and uh, we'll look up to 1500 megabytes read speed. Hmm. 
I, I'll ha I don't even know how I would test that. I'll have to put an NVMe drive on this motherboard in order to, to really test that speed. It's crazy. So I'll see you guys in the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about how I got this working, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to watch this specific video because it's uh, annoying. And when I was looking for help with it, I, it was really hard. There's like a handful of videos that even talk about these add-on add cards on YouTube and no one was really giving any good information and it took several uh, Google th like pages down to find even this forum post where I got my answer. So, you know, whatever. See you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.